everyone welcome to chemicals academy this video is for bayer williger oxidation bayer williger oxidation is an important oxidation reaction asked in many competitive exams so this reaction is uh, important for both graduate and post graduate students so let's see what is bayer williger oxidation in a simple manner so coming to bayer williger oxidation bayer williger oxidation is oxidation of ketones to a ester to an ester or lactones in presence of a per acid and a solvent uh, CHCl the chloroform is solvent here so oxidation of ketones to esters or lactones is called bayer williger oxidation so we can see the important points of bayer williger oxidation oxidation of ketones with per oxy acid converted to esters or lactones per benzoic acid per acetic acid and cpba meta chloro per benzoic acid this is the important per oxy acid used in bayer williger oxidation we can use per benzoic acid per acetic acid or mcpp mcpba and another condition is this reaction is conducted under mild conditions and applicable to open g cyclic and aromatic ketones so bayer williger oxidation can be applied to cyclic open g and aromatic ketones what is bayer williger oxidation it is the oxidation of ketones cyclic open g or aromatic ketones in presence of per acid to a uh, ester of lactones that is bayer williger oxidation now we can see the mechanism of bayer williger oxidation so in bb oxidation the main step is the migration of a group from carbonyl carbon to electron deficient oxygen so here the groups are r and r dash so any of the r or r dash can be migrated to electron deficient oxygen that's the main step of bb oxidation now uh, we can see the detailed mechanism of this bb oxidation so first we are taking a ketone rc double bond o r dash and a per acid what is per acid rco3h three oxygens are there in per acid when rco2h it is called carboxylic acid rco3h is called a per acid so in first step what will happen the h plus here the h plus is eliminated and attached to this oxygen how the lone pairs of oxygen is shifted to hydrogen so we can write r c double bond o h oxygen will get a positive charge because it is donating electrons and here what r dash and this bonds electron is shifted to this oxygen so another product is o minus oxygen accumulation of electron causes negative charge in oxygen and rest of the product is acid so this is the first step in second step a concerted steps a concerted mechanism is happening how first this o minus can attack this carbonyl carbon because carbon is partially positively charged partially positively charged carbon can attack or this o minus can attack partially positively charged carbon so this will make a bond so we can write as oh oh oxygen will get a positive charge double bond is e r r dash and here this rest of the compound is attached r double dash so now this is not stable compound because carbon has 1 2 3 4 5 five valency carbon's valency is 4 now what will happen these electrons can be this bond is shifted to here so the positive charge is cancelled now it's stable now the next step is this hydrogen is eliminated as h plus and this r dash any of the group can be migrated but here we are taking this r dash this r dash is migrated to this oxygen and this bond is built i will explain once more first the 
hydrogen is eliminated as H plus and any of the group we are taking R dash this R dash is migrated to this oxygen the oxygen of per acid this oxygen so what will be the product so we can write this H is gone as H plus so O C R so R dash is migrated to oxygen so what will be the product O R dash and here double bond do how the H plus is eliminated so H plus means it is donating electrons to oxygen so oxygen will get a negative charge and that negative charge is shifted to here I will show here first negative charge and this negative charge is shifted to here so what will happen C double bond O C double bond O so what this is R C double bond O O R dash this is an ester so from keto we got an ester and the remaining product is what R double dash C double bond O O H this H plus is coming to here so this is an acid so in their we make an oxidation when oxidation of ketone is done using per acid we get an ester and a carboxylic acid so this is the explanation of uh, Bayer Willinger oxidation mechanism. So uh, let's see another important points or special cases of BV oxidation. So in a competitive exam point of view, the simple trick for writing the product of BV oxidation, Bayer Willinger oxidation is insert oxygen in between carbonyl group CO and best migratory group. So first we have to study uh, the migratory order of groups, compounds. So this is the migratory order. First comes tertiary alkyl, tertiary alkyl, then cyclohexyl, secondary alkyl, benzyl and phenyl. So these have same uh, reactive order. Cyclohexyl, secondary alkyl, benzyl and phenyl. Now comes primary alkyl and at last medial group. So tertiary alkyl have the most preference, most migratory group and the last medial group. So you have to by heart or study this order so that we can solve problems easily. So the first point, main important point is insert oxygen between CO and best migratory group. While coming to bridge cyclic ketones, bridge cyclic ketones means This is bridge cyclic ketones. Uh, if this two medium groups are there, it is uh, sterically hindered. So, if in these compounds, this type of compounds, the steric factors is considered. So, uh, not only the best migratory group, we should consider the steric factors. So, the oxygen will be inserted in between CO and least hindered compound. So here the least hindered is this side. So the oxygen will be so the oxygen will be inserted in between this this side. So in rich cyclic ketones, the oxygen is inserted in between CO and least hindered side. And in other compounds, oxygen is inserted in between CO and best migratory group. So these are the important points uh, and the migratory order is for high for tertiary alkyl and least for medium group. Now we can solve some problems. Let's solve these problems. In first problem, the ketone is present. Uh, conditions are PHCO3H and CHCl3, a per acid and a solvent and a ketone is there. So we can apply bayer behavior oxidation. How to, how to write the product? Insert oxygen in between carbonyl group and the best migratory group. So which is the best migratory group? Two um, carbons are there. This is CH3, medial group. And this is a secondary carbon. So we know secondary carbon, secondary alkyl group have more preference than medial group. So we can insert oxygen in between this group and carbonyl 
compound carbonyl group so this is the product in second example this is a bridge bicyclic ketone and the conditions are same per acid and a solvent now this is a strained ketone bridge uh, bicyclic ketone so we have to consider the steric factors instead of migratory group so we have to put oxygen in between C double bond O and least hinder side. So here which is least hinder? This is hinder side and this is a least hinder side. So we can put oxygen here. C double bond O and rest of compound the same. So this is the product. And in third example, uh, the compound is almost similar but it is not as much as strain like the second compound. So, we can consider the migratory factor, migratory group. So, here two groups are present. This is a primary carbon and this is a tertiary carbon. So, which is the uh, best migratory group? Tertiary carbon is best migratory group. So, we can insert oxygen in between tertiary and CO. So, this is the product. Now, in fourth example, this is a special condition of bare vinegar oxidation. Here, an alkene is present and a ketone. So, when we add per acid to an alkene, we know F oxidation takes place. When we are adding a per acid to this alkene, an epoxide is formed. So, this should be studied. Uh, this can be uh, explained in epoxidation video. Now, uh, you should understand that when per acid is added to an alkene, epoxidation takes place. So, when an alkene and a ketone is present, which will happen? Either epoxidation or Bayer Villager oxidation. So, the main important point is if Bayer Villager oxidation has to take place, the ketone must be a strained ketone. Here the ketone is not strained. So what will be the product? The epoxide will be the product. So if Bayer vinegar oxidation have to take place, the ketone must be strained ketone. But here the ketone is not strained. So an epoxide is formed. So this is the product. Now in fifth example, an alkene is present and a ketone is present. Is the ketone strained one? No, the ketone is not strained one. So, what will be the product? Epoxide. So, the double bond is converted to an epoxide ring and ketone remain as it is. Hydrogen, hydrogen. So, this is a product. And here, this is sixth example. So, here what will be the product? The ketone is a strained one. Here a bulky group is present. So this ketone is a strained one. Sorry, here a double bond is present. So when algae and the double bond O, ketone is present, which will happen if the ketone is strained one, bare vinegar oxidation takes place. So here the product is bare vinegar oxidin, oxidized product. So the product can be C double bond O. Oxygen is inserted in between tertiary and C double bond O. pH double bond remain as it is and oxygen is inserted in between this tertiary carbon and C double bond O. So these are the uh, important points of Bayer vinegar oxidation. Let me summarize today's section. The Bayer vinegar oxidation is the oxidation of ketones to esters or lactones in presence of per acid. The main step of Bayer vinegar oxidation is migration of a group to electron deficient oxygen from a carbonyl carbon to electron deficient oxygen. So, another important point is in bridge cyclic ketones, the steric factors are considered, and uh, the simple trick is. Insert the oxygen in between C double bond O and the best migratory group. So we have to study the migratory order. Tertiary alkyl comes first and methyl group comes last. 
and uh, the other important is when alkene and epoxy when alkene and ketone is present the per acid is added to the compound what will happen the Bayer illegal oxidation takes place only if the ketone is strained ketone otherwise alkene will be uh, converted to an epoxy and ketone is not affected so these are the important points of Bayer illegal oxidation